and it's recording. Hey everybody. Hey, I'm Hellhound. And I'm a Dark Wolf. That's right. We haven't done a video in a long time. This is our fifth video. Yeah. And as you know, part fives uh, usually suck. Uh, you know, uh, Friday the 13th part five I think is pretty good. Except that, I love Except that. Except for Jason's Not the Killer. Uh, Dream Child is not that good. Uh, it sucked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Better than Freddy's Dead, though. Uh, yeah. uh, Halloween 5 also is one of the weaker entries. Um, yeah. And this video is going to be no exception. Uh, this right. video is going to suck, too. Uh, it's going to be just yeah. like the new beginning. Yeah. I wish I had Zares to go into. Me, too. I know. That's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about our favorite stores that shut down. Stores from, like, in the 80s and even the 90s that aren't around oh, yeah. anymore. If we could time travel back to the 80s, oh, yeah. that would be like... You know, we'd be going to lots of different well, stores. Well, one thing, well, hey, one thing is good. Like, from the, <coughs> uh, from the one of our favorite places to go to where like we've been before, hey, at least the L.A. Rams are back. Yeah. But not true. the same state. Yeah. But anyway. Some things they did bring back. Some retro things are being brought back now. But a lot of it's not as good as it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Things are different now. That's yeah. right. Yeah, what about your stores? stores? Well, Zares is one of my favorites, and Nichols, yeah. and even Montgomery Ward. Montgomery Ward. Uh, yeah, um, we were talking about the video stores that shut down. I could go on and on about that, and uh, like Suncoast and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I hate the Suncoast a lot. Now, uh, Most places. Yeah. If you know what Kmart is, uh, some Kmarts are still around, but... Uh, I definitely know. Yeah, we uh, both actually used to work at Kmart at the same right. time. That's, That's right. When we first became, around the time we first became friends. And uh, a Kmart in our town is gone. Um, most Kmarts are gone, but there's, st there's some still still around. There's actually one about an hour from here. So if there's a Kmart right. in your town, hell yeah, that's yeah. good. That's yeah, good. The one in Brentwood's gone too. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, a lot of our favorite stores are gone. Hey, um, hey, it reminds me. Speaking of speaking of Brentwood, hey, remember that, remember that time? Well, it's been about what, ten years ago or so, or more now. We were a lot younger. Remember that time we actually bumped into OJ? That was hilarious. Oh, yeah. Yes. We, he was, had a lemonade stand. And uh, we actually got to see him. I never thought. I was just crazy. You'd think it would have been an orange juice stand. I know. I know. It was a lemonade stand. It was cool. His daughter were doing that. Yeah. Well, anyway. Uh, brother. Um, but, yeah, Suncoast, isn't that one of your top stores? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. I love Suncoast. I, love, I got so many movies there. Yeah. That's probably the majority of the movies I got, like, well, yeah, in the definitely. 90s anyway. Now I get them all on Amazon and eBay, but oh, yeah. back then, you know, that was the most frequented store ever. Oh, yeah. Now, if you go back to the 80s, you wouldn't, be able to be able to, you wouldn't really be able to be a movie collector, which is one of the, yeah. the cons, but I'd still like that time we met love Hil to be back there. Like that time we met Hillary Shapiro? Like, yeah. we were talking to her about AKA the AKA Hillary movie. Shepard. Yeah, and she's pretty cool. She's at one of those yeah, she's uh, conventions we went to. And uh, she was resort. Saying, yeah, and uh, even uh, uh, and uh, weekend pass, weekend pass, more like weekend ass. Yeah, uh, very good film. Good She's actor. also in Adam Sandler yeah. Union, <laughs> one of the Power Rangers shows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the first thing I saw her in. That's right. <coughs> yeah, I miss the old <coughs> store you just go into and stuff. Oh, yeah. They were the bomb. Oh yeah, especially man back in the valley. Yeah, they had all kinds of cool stuff. Oh yeah. And, and your uncle's place up in Simi Valley. Oh, bro. Oh, I know. He had some good stores up it's there. It's great memories yeah. there. Good times. Yeah. Good times. Yeah, I know it's convenient with the uh, Netflix, but uh, the video stores were just more fun to me. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. More, more of an adventure. More uh, How about that boat? intimate. How about that boat? Yeah, but have Netflix and video stores. That'd be, that'd be bomb. How about that boat? That didn't fall down. Then there's people watching it. But, yeah. Nobody's going to watch this anyway, so who cares? But, um,. Oh, and guys, you gotta like this. Pulse Beat. Pulse Beat. Came you out, haven't lived until you see Pulse Beat. It came out in 85, only VHS made, but uh, I know Video Dust 84 when I offer. Great guy. Yeah, oh. you got this on here. It's in the North Hollywood area. Yeah, you can get these. It's perfect. Good movie, too. On the aerobics fitness craze. Yes. Please buy our product. Yes, <laughs> it's very nice. Uh, but I'll tell you somebody, I'll tell you somebody uh, that's uh, really in the fitness is not me right now, but I love it, but I love watching the videos. And especially that video that Axel from Friday the 13th Part 4 was watching. I actually found that 
It's an eroticized video. Eroticized came out back in 82. Yeah. And Judy Ertz. It's on YouTube. Highlights, <laughs> I'd like to go there. Yeah, Judy Ertz of that very same movie, Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Uh, she has her own uh, Rocket Body Pilates in yeah, California. Pilates, she yeah. has her own uh, fitness. Uh, she's a fitness instructor. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, lots of our favorite stores are gone. Uh, I wish we were in the 80s, you know. You couldn't be a movie collector really back then unless you're a millionaire. Because VHS oh, has oh, cost yeah. an arm and a leg. I was just LA. talking to him. If we Shopping went, ball. If we went in back in time for a week and had a motel somewhere, somebody gave us, like, $400 or even $250 for the week, we'd be all right. Like, you know, like money from back then. Yeah, yeah I mean, heck, we could go, the, go to the theater down the road and, like, see uh, all kinds yeah. of cool films. Like, say it was 85. There was, like, four was theaters in this very town back then. Now right, right. And the feature right, was playing the same weekend. Oh, no, you're so, so awesome. Yeah. yeah. See you down. It would be that all right. That would be the tits. The food was good deals. That would be the freaking tits. Yeah, exactly. Now, he could get be a magazine and a comic book collector back then. That's for damn sure. Fangoria yeah. and Rue Morgue and oh, yeah. Monsterland and oh, yeah. uh, Hip Parader and Metal Edge and Revolver and oh, Mad yeah. and Wizard and all those tattoo magazines and all that shit. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> we're watching our neighbor. Yeah, we had some friends. We're uh, watching a neighbor's kid right now. Yeah, yeah. Really, mm -hmm. we got some friends over. I've been yeah, yeah. them. <laughs> yeah. Well,. You'll have to send me if you if you all like the video, send me some. Uh, somebody needs to do this. Send a copy of your so cool Brewster. Yes, that needs DVD. to come out already. The Fright Night documentary. If somebody has it. Please send us a copy. It's so a freaking documentary on Fright Night. It's, it's taking forever to come out in the U.S. I'll be what your the best hell, friend. man? We'll even mention you by name on the next video. Yes, please send. Us please, a copy. please, we want to watch it so bad. Please, please, please. Pay for please. It, we don't even I'll give it. anything. Yes. I'll send yeah, you my yeah. autograph. Free of charge. I know. I had to pay for it. That's know, right. So see, see, it. not everybody gets all that easy. <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> but anyway, that's for video number six. That's but right. Next time. Uh, yeah, uh, video number, episode six, uh, video horror section, or whatever our show's called, lives. This is the new beginning. Yeah. We're actually not Hellhound and Dark, but we're imposters, just like in the new beginning. Friday 13th Part 5. We're, we're yeah. imposters. We're just about to ruin their reputation. That's right. Well, you all have a good one. Take it easy and keep it sleazy. Keep it all 80s. Right. Keep it 80s all the time. Later. <laughs>